What's up guys, it's Johnny here at World War Doe. Wanted to showcase some new decks that I've been having a lot of fun with. We get a lot of user feedback, let us know, hey, what, what, what are some really cool and interesting decks uh, that, you guys have, that you guys have in the game or that you can uh, put together? Uh, so remember, if you guys have any, have, have any decks that you're playing with that you want us to take a look at, send them our way. We'll definitely showcase them in a future video. Uh, so the first one uh, that I have today to show you guys is one I'm having a lot of fun with called Johnny's Minecraft. So it's a deck that features you know, some of our least used units in the game right now, which are, which are our mines. Super effective cards to be playing with. Uh, and the deck presents itself as a very defensive deck at first to your opponent. But there's a surprise assassination in there with our with our Sheriff Justice unit. So I'm gonna kind of get right into it and show you guys how to use a deck like this. Catch players off guard, have a lot of fun while you're doing it. Sets up some really great finishes. Um, you know, so if you're if you're cutting videos yourself, or you're sharing videos with friends, these are the these are some of the most kind of fun finishes you'll see in some of these matches. Cool. Uh, yeah, so these matches were taking place in the Borough Toxicology, so there's some high-level opponents too, League Five. So as this match is starting, you want to take a look at your at your at your starting hand. You, you want to play mines in, in lanes and stack the mines, right? So I in, the, in in this deck I have the dome mine, which is explosive, does massive damage, right? We have the infestation mine, uh, which obviously infests units, and specifically on the commander will infest him, and then and then he'll pop out the large unit that, that does massive amounts of damage. Uh, after he uh, regurgitates it out. And then the frost mine, which freezes. And remember, all frozen units are gonna take double damage for a certain period of time while they remain frozen, including the commander. Super effective card to handle assassinations or do big damages on tanks. Uh, one of the keys to this deck is to pocket Sheriff Justice, right? He's gonna come out towards the end when you wanna get that assassination. You wanna keep him in your hand as long as possible. Don't show him to your opponent because yeah, okay, here we go, and he's out. So the guy is, is, is a little bit confused now, and he's running. Sheriff Justice is in pursuit. Chop Chop is another really good card to have in these decks. You want to play him because he works in tandem with really good assassination, especially if the commander is frozen. He's going to take that 4x critical damage, it's going to kill him in one shot. So this guy uh, now is positioning back. He's a little bit confused, dazed and confused. He's getting his dough, he's stacking up. Uh, trying to come, uh, trying to come on me on some of these lanes. Um, defensive structures are out, handling a lot of the stuff that he's throwing at me. And here it kind of comes, boom! Had no idea it was coming. As he's Captain Doe Barrel, it's the perfect distance at the main line, the, the mid line there, uh, to pull him into those mines and really, really blow him up. So, okay, here we go. There's another match uh, starting. This is a similar use of the deck. So again, you want to lay all those mines and stack them. Players will kind of sit back. They won't necessarily know what to do. The natural tendency is to avoid these mines, right? Because they're going to be doing damage. They're going to be freezing things. They're going to be infesting, um, you know, and throwing units back. They will typically come. They will typically send their units on other lanes. Sometimes they will have the commander pounce. You have to really lay in wait. A certain level of patience is required to kind of set this up. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you, because there's so much defensive structure out there, a full-on rush from your opponent is not going to be super effective either. So if he takes everything down, if he comes in, blows up your mines, he's going to take a lot of that damage. You know, don't be worried about that. Just have the patience to stop, reset, set, set the trap, so to speak, back up again and let him walk into it. As long as you don't show share of justice, you won't necessarily know what you're trying to do um, at first. So here we go. So this kind of just played out just like I said. Like he came, he came, blew up that first like line of mines. I had to kind of retreat back in. He wasn't able to press any any real advantage on me. Uh, so now I'm going to try to bait him. Uh, I'm going to pull him down. He's got a Rex out, so he's feeling really confident. Rex is going to be coming on uh, on my healing tower. The frost mine's going to take care of him. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> bunch of piranhas coming. Boom, blew them all up with the dome mine. Rex is gone. Now the guy is getting a little bit impatient. You can kind of see he's not exactly sure what to do right now. Everything that he's tried is kind of getting caught up in these mines. We still want to assassinate him, uh, and he's 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 playing conservatively, uh, to say the least. So again, the patience is critical here, setting up turrets. Turrets also work really well because they're gonna obviously stand up 
do a ton of damage to anything that comes down. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, more mines coming out. Final minute. Uh, a lot going on here. Uh, as you can see, sometimes what you also have to do is you have to try to get, get up as fast as you can and take out any single lane units. You don't want the mines to go down on something like a buck or piranhas or anything that kind of gets through there because you want to, oh, all right, so he's frozen. There's a chop chop out now and I've got Sheriff Justice. So this wasn't a perfect execution here, but as you can see, he's trying to get away. Sheriff Justice pulls him in, crit, dead, assassination, right? Super effective deck, a lot of users won't necessarily know what to send. Biggest disadvantages you're gonna have here are gonna be aerial units uh, because the mines obviously cannot hit them. And also missile turrets. So if anybody's rocking missile turret, you're gonna kinda have to readjust your strategy. Play back a little bit. You're probably not gonna be able to get those surprise assassinations so well. You're gonna wanna lay your mines in the back line and just play defensively for that game. Not a lot of players playing missile turret, although it's a super effective um, you know, card, both taking out air units pretty instantaneously and also uh, showcasing any invisible units. That's a secondary passive. A lot of people don't know that, so it's a little bit of a tip for you guys there too. Missile turret will show all invisible units. All right, so this guy, uh, yeah, he's, he's coming kind of hard, fast and furious on towers. You saw him do a missile strike, a uh, magic missile strike on my healing tower. All those mines just came out one, one, one after another. Uh, you know, basically NATO cost. Sheriff Justice pulled him in. Right was he's capping the doe barrel. Perfect distance for this to happen. Uh, the infestation, he just regurgitated. There's not a lot this guy's gonna be able to do. He stays confused, he's done for. Uh, there you have it, Johnny's Minecraft. Try a mine deck, really, really different. A lot of players will hang back, not necessarily know what to do. Wait, wait, lion wait. Once that trap is set, Sheriff Justice, when they're capping the dough barrel, pull them in. Makes for a really fun kind of uh, final minute of assassination. So there you have it, guys. Johnny's Minecraft, super effective deck. Try it out. Very fun. Creates a really cool assassination moment for you to share out with all your friends on social media. Remember, send us your decks in any developer Q&A. We really want to hear from you guys. We hope you're having fun. We know we are. We'll see you guys on the battlefield.